This is a great white shark, the largest marine predator. Impressive, right? But here's the twist. It was eaten, yes, by something even bigger and more dangerous. I'll tell you how scientists spent decades unraveling the mystery of who could have devoured a great white shark. Was it a megalodon, a giant squid, or something even worse? I'll go through all the theories and, in the end, share the terrifying conclusions of the scientists. Beginning Great white sharks, known for their strength and danger, are considered the top of the food chain in the ocean, and they were until this incident. In 2003, Australian researchers decided to track the behavior of one of these sharks by attaching a tracker to it. A huge shark, nearly 10 feet long, became the subject of scientific interest, but four months later, the tracker was found on the shore without any trace of the shark. Did it spit it out? No, that's impossible. There was only one option. Something ate this incredible predator. But what? Why was the tracker implanted in the shark? And what did they want to learn? The research initially began along the coast of Australia in Bremer Bay, where filmmakers Dave and Janine Riggs were shooting a documentary about great white sharks. Suddenly, their attention was drawn to an unusual event. The bodies of nine huge dead sperm whales were washed ashore. This spectacle attracted a group of hungry great white sharks, creating the perfect moment to start the study. Scientists, notified by Dave, arrived with the necessary equipment. They used long poles with needles to attach trackers to the sharks to track their migration paths. The first shark was named Alpha due to its incredible size. It was the largest, but it was eventually eaten. Four months after the observations began, Alpha's tracker was found on the shore, but the shark was nowhere to be found. Data analysis showed that on Christmas Eve, the shark behaved as usual, swimming within its normal habitat, but suddenly it began to dive rapidly, reaching a depth of 1,900 feet, much deeper than great white sharks typically go. Just seconds after reaching this depth, the water temperature around the tracker spiked from 46 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. How is this possible? Researchers concluded that the tracker might have ended up inside the stomach of a larger predator. How huge is the great white shark? But to understand the absurdity of what happened, let me tell you about great white sharks. Why are they so terrifying? The great white shark is often depicted in culture as the embodiment of oceanic terror and is practically the grandchild of the megalodon. The great white shark inhabits the warm waters off the coasts of California, Mexico, Africa, and Australia. Known for its size, ranging from 13 to 20 feet in length and weighing up to 3,300 pounds, it instills fear with its appearance. Nearly 2,200 pounds of this weight is pure muscle. Can you imagine? Its uniform is a classic black and white tuxedo that serves as natural camouflage. White underneath, blending with the bright sky, and black on top, merging with the ocean depths. The shark is famous for its electrical sensitivity, allowing it to detect electrical signals from the brain and heart of potential prey. Its olfactory bulb is so sensitive that it can smell a drop of blood from a distance equal to the volume of a large swimming pool. This enables the shark to efficiently find wounded animals, which are easier to catch. Despite its reputation, the great white shark is not a mindless killer. Research shows that humans are not among its preferred targets. Attacks usually result from mistaken identity when the shark confuses a person for a seal or other prey. Moreover, after a test bite, the shark often releases the person realizing they are not tasty. An interesting fact about the reproductive behavior of great white sharks is embryonic cannibalism, where the strongest embryos eat their siblings in the womb. Yes, survival of the fittest. But the most important thing is that great white sharks haven't been accustomed to being prey since the time of the dinosaurs, hence the significant interest in this case. The Kill Zone What ate the shark alpha was truly of incredible size and strength. Can you imagine how surprised the shark itself was? Researchers led by Dave Riggs decided to delve deeper into the last moments of the shark's life, which led it to the area of the Southern Ocean off Australia, known as the Kill Zone. Why is it called that? 
This place is a deep underwater valley, descending three miles, where the migration paths of various marine animals intersect, including great white sharks, orcas, and giant squids, all competing for dominance. Determined to solve this mystery, Dave and his team set out to explore this place in a self-constructed underwater apparatus. The apparatus was built from a metal frame, lawnmower parts, and five layers of protective fiberglass, which theoretically should withstand the attacks of the most powerful marine predators. The courage of the researchers was bordering on madness, but their desire to face the unknown was unstoppable. Shortly after their descent, they encountered incredible difficulties. In the waters just 60 feet from the surface, the team was surrounded by a pack of aggressive, narrow-toothed sharks and fierce orcas. The danger was so great that even a short stay in this zone could cost them their lives. It became evident that the mission was doomed to fail. The area was so perilous that the researchers were forced to abandon their plans and return to the surface without conducting a thorough investigation. Megalodon. Who could realistically eat a huge shark, a larger species? Megalodons, the largest sharks that ever existed on Earth, fit the bill. These enormous predators, according to some data, could reach up to 60 feet in length and had jaws capable of opening 10 feet wide, enough to swallow an entire shark or even two adult humans at once. Despite the fact that megalodons went extinct over three million years ago, there is ongoing interest in the possibility of their modern existence. However, it's important to consider several scientific facts and logical arguments regarding this topic. First, the size of megalodons and their presumed ecological niche. These sharks were likely apex predators, which implies their presence in relatively shallow coastal waters where they could find large enough prey to sustain their massive size. Scientists believe the extinction of megalodons was related to climate change and the decline of large marine mammals, which were their primary food source. Secondly, there is a lack of reliable evidence of their existence in the modern world. If megalodons did exist today, they would have been noticed not only due to their size, but also due to their behavior, which would include active hunting in shallow waters. Could they have gone into the depths to hide? Perhaps, but this theory also has issues. Deep sea animals are generally smaller, less active, and have adaptations to low pressure and lack of light. The evolutionary changes required to transition from a shallow water to a deep sea lifestyle would involve significant reductions in size and metabolism, contradicting known data about megalodons. You can't be that big and eat so infrequently without being spotted by humans. So what could have eaten the shark Alpha? Perhaps it was an unknown giant predator living in the deep waters? Or maybe it was a group of orcas, known for their ability to hunt large sharks. Whatever it was, it has forever changed our understanding of who really rules the oceans. Giant squids. All right, but in the kill zone, there are plenty of squids and orcas. Could one of them have eaten the shark? Orcas, despite their size and speed, are unlikely to have reached the depth where the shark's tracker was last located. Given their size, it is physically impossible for them to dive so deep. Moreover, the temperature data from the tracker does not match the body temperature of an orca. This leads us to another possible suspect. Which one? The giant squid, which occasionally gets photographed and possesses incredible size. This creature, shrouded in mystery and legend, can reportedly grow up to 60 feet in length and weigh around 2,200 pounds. Their long tentacles, equipped with strong suckers, can hunt and capture large prey, such as sharks. They are capable of vertical daily migration, rising to the surface at night to hunt and descending to significant depths during the day. Evidence of the capabilities of giant squids can be found in sharks with sucker marks, indicating their ability to attack large prey. These creatures live at depths comparable to where the Alpha Tracker was lost, making them likely candidates for the role of the killer. The difficulty in studying giant Esquia, IDs due to their deep sea lifestyle and elusive behavior, makes this theory especially intriguing. A giant squid could have spotted Alpha during its nightly hunt and dragged the unfortunate shark into the depths where it dealt with it. Sounds logical. 
the giant squid had both the motives and the opportunity to attack, if not for one but, which completely breaks this neat theory. Mosasaurus Remember I mentioned the sudden temperature spike? This is as important as the sudden depth change recorded by the tracker. The temperature recorded clearly points to a warm-blooded creature capable of swallowing a shark whole, casting doubt on previous theories about giant squids. Based on this, we return to the possibility of ancient marine reptiles. But which of them could compete with the great white shark? Mosasaurs, which had the necessary size and physiological characteristics for hunting large marine predators. Mosasaurs could reach lengths of over 50 feet and had powerful tails that gave them high speed in the water, as well as sharp teeth capable of tearing through tough flesh. However, a reasonable question arises. Could mosasaurs or similar creatures have survived to this day? The existence of such giant marine reptiles in modern waters seems unlikely due to the lack of reliable evidence of their presence. Additionally, the meteor shower that occurred about 66 million years ago drastically changed the Earth's climate, leading to mass extinctions, including most marine reptiles. But could some have survived? Even if some of these creatures found refuge in deep sea cracks or caves, long-term survival in a changed ecosystem and food chain would be highly doubtful. Extreme changes in ocean acidity and other ecological stresses likely precluded their existence in modern seas. But something did eat the shark, and it's hard to argue with that fact. Thus, we are left with a mystery. Who is this unknown predator that could destroy Alpha? It is quite possible that it is a warm-blooded creature with incredible strength and size, yet unnoticed by science. The question remains open, and solving this mystery may require new research and discoveries that will shed light on the depths of the ocean and its inhabitants. Could it be the bloop? Returning to more scientific speculations about sea creatures that might have remained unknown to humanity, let's consider leviathans, or Melville's sperm whales, and the possibility of their modern existence. Leviathans, ancient sperm whales with enormous teeth, could have potentially competed with megalodons for the title of top ocean predators. It is believed that they went extinct about nine million years ago, likely due to climate changes and the reduction of their primary prey. Is there a chance that some individuals managed to survive in hiding? On one hand, the likelihood that such large mammals as leviathans could have gone unnoticed in our time is extremely low. These animals, like modern whales, would need to regularly surface for air, making them easily visible to people and researchers. Additionally, over millions of years, they would likely have undergone significant evolutionary changes that could alter their appearance and behavior. On the other hand, the mysterious sound recorded in 1997, known as the bloop, indeed piqued the interest of researchers. This sound was so loud and unusual that theories about its origin ranged from giant unknown sea creatures to geological phenomena. Although it was later suggested that these might be sounds related to ice cracking or other natural processes, the exact source of the sound was never definitively identified. Even among scientists, there are many who favor the theory of a massive creature in the depths. So, despite the lack of convincing evidence for the existence of leviathans or other supposedly extinct giant sea creatures today, the ocean world remains full of mysteries and each new discovery could lead us to rethink our understanding of marine life. Does this mean scientists have reached a dead end after all these years? No, there is another theory that is gaining traction in the scientific community. What did the researchers conclude? So, after much deliberation and numerous theories, science has proposed an explanation that seems most plausible. Alpha was eaten by another, giant, great white shark, likely suffering from gigantism. This condition caused the shark to grow to inquiry, Dable sizes, making it a true giant among its peers. Instances of cannibalism among sharks are not uncommon, especially when it comes to larger individuals consuming smaller ones. This behavior is even seen at the embryonic level, as I mentioned at the beginning. This 15 meter long cannibal shark could have easily overpowered Alpha and used the deep waters for its attack, which initially confused the researchers. 
As for the question of whether it could have been some other unknown creature that remains open. However, in this case, all the evidence points to another great white shark. This rare instance of extreme gigantism shows how little we still know about the ocean depths and their inhabitants. It's often said that the ocean is only a few percent explored compared to land. The ocean remains full of unexplored corners and undiscovered species. Perhaps somewhere out there, a huge bloop does indeed swim, surrounded by a 130-meter giant squid with a mosasaurus crawling along the seabed. Science does not rule out such possibilities. What do you think? Was it really another shark that ate Alpha? Or do you believe it was something else? Write in the comments. And if you love mysteries, can write scripts, edit videos, or voiceover clips, message our Telegram bot via the link in the description. We'd love to collaborate. Thanks for watching, and I'd be immensely grateful for a like and subscription.